Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Bridgewater, a play fake to McCaffrey. He'll look to throw. Sideline throw. That's caught by Moore. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. And the coach has decided to challenge this play. He has tossed down the red flag. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination of whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back, the other way you have to regroup so they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three Here we go. Here we go. from the gun Bridgewater and he's got it and he couldn't quite get there tackled down at the one a good looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here at the one yard line First and goal at the one. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Extra point forthcoming. For the point after. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. Seven, Eagles nothing. Joey slide out, a kickoff after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Sanders, the ball carrier. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. the counter now it's Sanders and he'll get it up to the 33 yard line seven yards there and a first down that was a good nice crisp run for a first down I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And to give this time to the tailback. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. But I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. 
he did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders, and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, it's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Bridgewater and the Panthers going to come up here first and 10 at their own 44. Following the interception, here's Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. They go play action. Bridgewater. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That's another Panthers First down. First and ten. A bit from the red zone now. Bridgewater. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception on a final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Panthers seven, Eagles nothing. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Shotgun now for Wentz. 
And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver, and he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Wentz now to throw. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, wins. And oh my goodness, what a catch at the six. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Philadelphia. From 19 yards away. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. The game at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. With another return now, here's Westbrook. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. The Panthers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. First, that is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Bridgewater on first down. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. By the Eagles. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're gonna have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now, they have to feel great about their opportunity. They'll try to get forward, but he's gonna be stopped at his tracks at about the three. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the three-yard line. Second and ten. Wentz going to throw, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He was covered. That was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Throwing 
from the gun. It's Hurts. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, realize it hasn't worked so well, and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Wins on the give to Sanders, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. 
brings up it's always tough game. trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Bridgewater gets this complete to Samuel. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. First down, Bridgewater. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And eight. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. On play action, it's Bridgewater. Oh, looking for Andrew. That's caught inside the 20. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagle 17-yard line. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Two yards left on second down from the 9. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. And again, it's Bridgewater. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. For DJ Moore. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. And his kick here is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. A lane opens here. He's past the 30 at their own 34-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly do. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And right away, he'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. 
That eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Brian Burns picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front buying that time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. On third and long, it's Wentz. And yeah, that will be incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what... Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Another run here with Sanders. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Eli Apple, good to the core there as he gets in and knocks it away. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They do go for it. It's Wentz. Open man. It's Rager. He's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. Wentz now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass. 
and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Once again here on second and 10. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. Went four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And quickly finding Rager. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 38-yard line. Wentz on target to Rager. First down, Eagles. Philadelphia. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Now a carry for Sanders. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Wentz now on first down. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary can really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. Gain of 11 on the play. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They're trying for Rager, but it's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Here's second and five now from the 37. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Over the middle, complete. It's Andrews. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 27 yards there, a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Not much there, only a yard. Complete to Curtis Samuel. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the Eagles' 35-yard line. On second and nine, Bridgewater, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on, it's third down. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And he finds a man, it's McCaffrey. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. It's on the pickup. It's second and inches. From the gun, Bridgewater. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week, another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball.
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. And we're back now in Charlotte. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. The Eagles on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Brings up fourth down. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Going for it with Sanders. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll get this out wide to Taylor. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. That catch good for only a couple. Second and eight. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The ball carrier. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The Eagles on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration, the body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And this is incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Here's McCaffrey. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Call it an eight-yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. a run instead they go to the air on third and short yardage i realize this is a passing league and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance but that short i do question the call run the football and pick it up so out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today from the right hash and call it an even 50 yards and his kick is absolutely perfect but hang on, a flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down. What a big break. Leads to a first and ten. 
McCaffrey following the penalty. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. He's one of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Coming up on second and seven. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. A gain of a yard brings up third and the Panthers on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and seven. Bridgewater to throw it. This is caught, and he will take it across for the Panthers' touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab, and the Panthers are able to grow their lead. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one. You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film. You just flush and never go back and review. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Well, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First down, Eagles. They run here with Jason Huntley. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. He was brought down by Eric Wilson. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. He gets this into the hands of Taylor, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Sanders. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. Four yards on the pick. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair.
So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. On Wentz is intercepted yet again. Picked up by Troy Pride. The 20. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. And they'll indeed take a knee. Take a knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And they will take a knee here. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. Today's final so this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half, the adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Panthers, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And, oh. and they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Buffalo Bills next week. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll drop to 0-2. Oh and, and they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys. Thanks for tuning in.